Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how you, you can host a server from our Factor 2 so you can play with your friends from your own computer. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible but without missing any information. Uh, uh, for, for the first time you're going to need to make some preparation in your co computer but after that you only need to host the server the, the next time. Okay, so first thing you need to do, you need to fix your IP address so I'm gonna come here to your network uh, open network configurations and you come here to the adapter options right click and choose status and you can come here and see details so now you're gonna need to write down the IPv4 the subnetwork mask and the default gateway for IPv4 those three numbers here I'm gonna write those down close this window then you come to properties you scroll down you can choose IPv4 double click and then you will probably have this set on automatic okay so why do you need to do this well, you're gonna port forward those entries for so the game can be found from the internet, and you're gonna direct them for your IP. So this is your, uh, this is my IP, and your IP will be different probably. But uh, every time you restart your router, your house, if you have this set in automatic, it can change this number. So you're gonna set something in your router options and then if this changes your server won't work anymore so you need to make this fix so you get those three numbers you chose uh, manual IP and then you put those three numbers here you can uh, leave this in automatic so after you set your IP to a fixed IP and close this you need to remember the first IPv4 address, okay? Okay, now it's the part where people have the most difficulty. You need to port forward all the ports to the IP that you set before. So every router has a different method to do this. I'm gonna show you my router, how it's done. But you need to look in the internet to see how you can access your router configuration and then do the port forward. Okay, so for example, the first port, you need to port both of them, TCP and UDP, for 54297. So, we're going to create a new port for a row. You can choose any name here. You're going to choose both TCP and UDP. Then, the external port and the internal port should be this number, 54297. And then, your internal IP. You're gonna put the number that you set before in your IPv4. Uh, this is the reason why we set the IP to be fixed, because if you set this rule now and then you restart your router and you get an, a different number from your, to your IPv4, the server won't work anymore. So you need to have that fixed so the port forward can work. Then you can save this and create a new rule 27013 only for TCP and so on. You're gonna create all those rules for different parts. I'm gonna leave this in the description. So like I have here, all these are factor two are parts for the game. After you create all your port forwards, we're gonna make some shortcuts here in the desktop that will help you to manage the server. So you can go to your R Factor 2 game, right click here, properties, go to local files, and browse local files. This is where your game is installed. So you can you can go to B64 and then you can create a shortcut for mod manager. Go to the desktop. You can create a shortcut for our factor 2 dedicated. 
min here and then you go back to our factor 2 go to support tools and then you need to create a shortcut for mass 2 this is the all, all you're going to need to set up your server okay you have your three shortcuts on your desktop but they are not ready if you open them like this they will link to some wrong directories so you need to change those two files so you're going to right click here properties on the in the second line it should say start in i'm going to go to the end and remove the last entry so close slash r factor 2 slash bin 64 you just remove the last slash so it should stop uh, after the number 2 you apply okay and you do the same to the mod manager go properties starts in you remove b64 and you remove the slash so it ends on r factor 2 you apply okay one thing that is important to do before you start opening your server you need to open the game because the, the game has an X exe file with the same name that the, the dedicated server in the test menu if you open the test menu they both will be called R factor 2 so if you open the dedicated first and you try to open the game in this team it will say that the game is already running so you need to start the game first So the game is open, you can leave in this screen. If you cannot go back with uh, out type, sometimes the game freezes and it won't let you do this. You can just click Windows D to go back here to your desk desktop, this always works. So you have your game open, now you're gonna need to create a mod package. The mod package is what will tell you the dedicated server which content it will load. So you're gonna come here to the first file, gonna open it, you're gonna choose the option create the package file, it's the little box with the lid open, and then you're gonna create new mod package. This may take a little while to load. All right now it has after it loads you can name your mod package this you can name whatever you want nobody will see this name but you so um, let's do server tutorial you can customize those things this will be for example safety car which safety car will you're gonna use uh, some rules for the races uh, there is a lot of things that you can mod here. I won't recommend do do doing this as a beginner, so let's just check uncheck this. Move next, in this page, this is all your content that you have ins in installed in the game. So everything you have uh, from your workshop will be here. Everything, every DLC will be here, and everything you that you installed from packages will be here. We're gonna you can choose the the track you can choose multiple tracks holding down control but let's just just do two today going next you can choose your car again this is every content that you have installed in the game will be here let's choose two cars here again holding control lets you Clicking more than one. You click next. You don't need to change anything. Anything here. Now on this screen, you don't change anything from these boxes. You leave exactly like they are, <coughs> like they are. Just coming down here, click package, and you click install. It should say mod install. The red box will turn to green. All right, everything's good. 
so we just click done and close this page now you're gonna open that mod package that you just created with your dedicated server so just click here all right this is your dedicated server uh, the first line you can leave as a player and the second line you can choose the mod package that we just created so this is the mod package that I, are, I use normally but let's choose let's choose this one for now server tutorial you can do some uh, administration password so you can log after you created the server you can log in and control your server from inside the game now you click to vehicles So when we, we were creating the mod packages, we choose two cars. We choose the Skip Barber and we choose the Spark package. Uh, everything inside those packages are is here. You can choose individual uh, drivers or individual cars from the package. But if you want everything to be on the server, you just leave it as it is, and you go to config. Now we choose two tracks also to, to be in the server this will be the loading order because you can do multiple uh, okay we also choose two tracks at the time when we were creating the mod package and those are here you can change the order that they will be loaded because in this game you can do multiple sessions so the first session will be interlagos will be practice qualify and race and after the race it will, it will automatically load the next track and start practice qualify and race so you can choose the order that the tracks are loaded or you can just remove the track from being loaded at all Let's leave it as it is. You choose your connection type. Okay, this is the only configuration that you need to do in the server. So it's everything is self-explanatory, but race name it's the server name. It's this the name that will be shown at the server list. Password if you need, flag rules, if you want no rules, or if you want only black flags or yellow flags are in and everything in between if you use it you can multiply them the mechanical failures will be we will work in together with race time scale so race time scale is for example you want to do a 24 hours race in 24 minutes you will just put the server in times 60 so every minute will be one hour in game but if you leave the mechanical fa failures to normal your car won't act as if it ran for 24 hours so if you go time scale the mechanical failures will go together with the time scale so practice time you can skip session or you can choose how, how long it will be for qualify qualify laps Warmed up sessions, this is also self explanatory. So, type of start, it will overwrite the track configuration. So, if you want to start uh, standing, or if you want to do a one lap formation before the start, or a rolling start, or a fast rolling start that you don't need to do the, the first lap, you just start before the starting lap, uh, line. The length of the race, you can choose laps or for time you can choose the minutes for the race okay in this side you can limit the amount of age that the players can, can have you can turn off traction traction control abs stability control and so on damage multiplier it's self-explanatory ai strength minimum number of ai maximum number of ai Weather type for the race, okay. 
you can choose here or scripted if you choose scripted it will follow what you have last used on your single player races okay or you can choose another configuration race start time 9 a.m. this is, is you can only choose the race start time here if you want to choose the practice to be at at dark or the qualify to be at dark again it will follow your last section from your single player so you can set the practice here to to be at night and your uh, qualify to be at night and you start racing and then you get out of the game and go to the dedicated server it will open in that configuration and the time scale as I said before how fast the time will, will go forward in the race after you've done all this you click load track and the server will start It'll take a few seconds okay the server is up you can add some AI if you want to remove them you can type some kinds of some kind of commands. So if you want to kick somebody or if you want to give admin powers to someone, uh, remove penalties or add penalties to anyone, you can type it here. You can advance to the next session. So now we are in the practice from Interlagos, the first race. So if you go to ne next session, it will jump to qualify. still in Interlagos and if you can go directly to the next race if you chose this option here so we can check now if the server is, is working so go to multiplayer this is the server that we just opened and everybody that has the content can join you and race together alright this is it I hope it was helpful any doubts you can just type in the comments I will try to help everyone see you later and have good races